Hey guys, once you've gone through something tough, how do you know that you've been made whole? How do you know that the healing process is over? Got a minute? Look, life beats us up. And if there's one thing that just resonates true, it's that hurt people hurt people. So if you've been hurt, you're more likely to hurt someone else unless you get healing. And so we have all these people that are hurt by different things and they're going around hurting more people and this just snowballs until someone takes that pain and takes that hurt and they decide to forgive and they lay those things down at the at the cross. And sometimes our journey to healing is it can be a long one. It can be different. It's not necessarily, it's like, hey, do this step, this step, this step, and then you're healed. But there is a final result that every single case needs in order to complete your healing. The final step of healing is using your story and your healing to help others. The book of Revelation says this, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. So your testimony, the word that you have, that that healing that you've been brought out, but whenever you release that, whenever you release that testimony, it's healing for you and it's healing for others. And it is the final step. It is necessary. It is essential to overcome him by the word of your testimony. So if you don't share that, if you don't speak that out, then you're missing something whenever it comes to your healing. You can't let it go because it's just clung on to you. And it's like you're carrying it on even though you've done all the things that you know to do. Well, it's time to share it. Maybe it's that you share with somebody else who might be harboring bitterness Whatever it is that allows that healing, you've got to share it because it's true that your history becomes a part of his story and the trials and tests become your testimony because there is power in what God does in your life. Share that. Release it. Don't hold on to it. Allow God to work through you. And thanks for taking a minute.